Hello, and welcome to my video for beating stage 15 of Onslaught in Marvel Realm of Champions. If you're watching this video, chances are you were not able to beat stage 15. But don't fret, you were actually not supposed to be able to beat it. Stage 15 is clearly scaled for rank 3 characters at minimum. And with the limited number of basic catalysts available in store, and global launch player can only get a character to rank 2 at the most, it could be possible for a team with rank 2 characters to beat stage 15, but you would have to play nearly perfect and have some great gear as well, so let's get into it. Tip number 1. Know how the timer works. The party starts stage 1 with 2 minutes, and with each boss defeated. Every 3 stages, 1 minute is added, for a total of 6 minutes. This means that you have to be moving as fast as you can for the entirety of the attempt. Tip number 2. Split up to opposite corners of the map. Enemies spawn from all over the map. So split up and take care of each section on your own as they spawn. When a player has killed all of their enemies, converge to team up and finish off the last of the enemies. Tip number 3. Use Storm in your party for area of effect damage. If possible, put Storm in your party. Her massive damage that she deals to the entire field can take huge chunks of damage out of the opponent when used correctly. Be careful to wait for Cap to lower his shield and try to get everybody together and chilled or frozen. Tip number four. Attack Captain America from behind while he's blocking. Navigating Captain America's shield is a fundamental part of finishing Onslaught. If you are able to get behind him, the damage will get through and you can take him down even while he's blocking. Tip number four. Be ready for Sorceress Supreme to go through the wall. Witness the master of the mystic arts when the Sorceress dodges through a wall. No big deal though. If you're prepared for it, just turn the corner. The sorcerer actually gets isolated from the Captain Americas and is easier to take down if you're ready for her. Tip number six, know the boss spawn locations. When the bosses spawn for each wave, they do so in the same spot. Although the sorcerer may be in any one of those spots, the spots stay the same. On wave three, there are two Captain Americas and they spawn against the back wall. For wave six, there are two Captain Americas and one sorcerer, and they spawn on the opposite side. Wave nine is two caps and one sorcerer, and they spawn to the left-hand side. Wave 12 features two caps and one sorcerer, and they spawn against the back wall. The final wave features three Captain Americas and one sorceress, and they spawn in a half circle along the bottom half of the map. Be there, ready and waiting to take them down when they spawn. Tip number seven, win the match with at least four seconds left. You know, this is more of a requirement than it is a tip. Once you deliver the final blow to the last enemy, there will be about a four second runoff before the game registers that you've won. So technically, you have 5 minutes and 56 seconds in which to beat Onslaught. Anybody who has lost a match after beating the final enemy with just a couple seconds left knows about this. Hopefully it will get fixed, but if not, be prepared to win with a few seconds left on the clock. And that's my video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope it helps all of us get those sweet rewards. Keep tuning in for more videos. If you'd like to subscribe, I'm not going to stop you, but I wouldn't really recommend it either. Have a great day. Maybe I'll see you in Arena.